<laughs> Hi. Welcome to the third bonus episode of Yuzuru Hanyu is my emergency contact, the Fan You Fan Me podcast. In this episode, we'll revisit Worlds 2021, a competition which, much like the Beijing Winter Olympics, was not easy for the Fan You faint of heart. There have been so many reasons over the past several weeks to release this as a bonus episode, but no bigger reason than as an answer to the question Yuzu asked in his NHK Valentine's Day interview. Was I able to do something meaningful for you? Fan Yu's the world over have been responding to this question ever since it was beautifully translated by the Axel with Wings team who are masters at making sure Yuzu translates into Yuzu instead of a highly questionable version of himself. And while originally written about Worlds 2021, this blog post perfectly encapsulates Fan Yu Fan Me's response. Yuzu, there is no question that you did something meaningful in Beijing. For us and for the world. Seno. There's a global pandemic, and Yuzu picked up a flower and our hearts. Admit it. If you're a fan you, you still have Hanawasaku playing in your head. If you're like me, it's because you've averaged watching it four to five times a day since Yuzu skated it at Worlds 2021. In fact, I recently discovered the loop button on the video player and it was then that I realized I only had one option. Quit. My. Job. But let's back up a little. Worlds 2021 was... It. Was. Was I happy to see Yuzu? Of course. Was I happy to see Yuzu skate? Of course. Was I happy to see Yuzu skate at a competition held during a pandemic? Of course not. Yuzu didn't look like he particularly wanted to be there either. And based on comments prior to the competition, Yuzu had proven, as always, that he knew where the priorities were, even if a certain figure skating union didn't. He put on a brave, and precious, face in the practices, but more than one photo surfaced that made me think, can't Yuzu's mom just write him a note and they let him go home? When a camera is taking a photo of every single second of your existence, it's virtually impossible to mask every look of concern, even in a mask. I know I'm not the only fan you who spent the entire competition counting the minutes until Yuzu could just go home. Stunning jacket removal, Yuzu. One zip closer to home. Beautiful sit twizzle, Yuzu. One twizzle closer to home. Riveting warm-up room lap running, Yuzu. One lap closer to home. By the time the victory ceremony rolled around, I didn't give a flying quad flip what color the medal was. I just wanted to yell, grab that sucker and go home. As long as Yuzu returned healthily and safely to Japan with Stunt Pusan and his sanity, both his own and Stunt Pusan's, I really didn't care. I could talk about all those other things about Worlds 2021. Yuzu's wild hair. So relieved to see A, he hasn't allowed anyone close enough to him to cut it, and B, he hasn't resorted to trying to cut it himself. A certain figure skating union's whack safety standards? Let's make sure we don't get close enough to the skaters to put their medals around their necks. Win. But let's still have them get in a line at the end of the gala, and you know what? Wear a mask or don't wear a mask in that line. Lose. I know I'm not the only fan you who gasped when Yuzu got in line next to a non-masked skater. You should have had to have been in a full hazmat suit to get near Yuzu at Worlds. Because, you know, A, gift to the world, and B, asthma. Speaking of asthma, Yuzu, we love you, and none of us slept between the night of the free program and the conclusion of the gala. That's all I'll say about that. But what I really have something to say about is the gala. 
the gala, the gala. For starters, you can't talk about this performance of Hanawa Saku without giving a shout out to Jordan Cowan and On Ice Perspectives. If you are a fan you, chances are good that you have experienced Jordan's incredible, seriously incredible videos. I think he should start to call his Yuzu videos IMAX Yuzu. They are jaw-droppingly beautiful. I want Jordan to always be the videographer for Yuzu skating. Heck, I just want Jordan to follow Yuzu everywhere. Is having him accompany Yuzu to McDonald's to film him placing his order for a strawberry pie and McPudding too much to ask? In short, thank you, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And domo arigato gozaimasu. Because it had been a hard week. We loved seeing Yuzu again, but most of us were watching with concern about the environment he was in the people he was around, and what those people he was around were doing in that environment he was in. Added to the concern we always have that Yuzu will be judged unfairly, and an overall constant prayer that he won't get sick or injured, we were watching with the scream of, We love Yuzu! Accompanied by the tiny scream of, Please be careful, Yuzu! But then the gala reminded us of the real reason Yuzu skates, to be the light. And Hanawasaku proved that to its fullest. Everyone has a wound, and everyone has a wound that Yuzu's performance healed. Recovering from a natural disaster, overcoming an obstacle, missing a friend, the flower symbolizes something different to everyone. But no matter your pain or the symbolism, Yuzu said the same thing to every single one of us. Daijobu daiyo. There were so many moments in Hanawasaku that gave comfort, but there was one which really stood out. After Yuzu's signature triple axel, his look into the camera said, Well, yesterday sucked, didn't it? I know you were worried, but I'm going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. And Yuzu, given the way you picked up and skated with that flower in the final moments of Hanawasaku, I believe you. And that's what I'll remember about Worlds. Not the questionable pandemic protocols, not the unfair scoring, not the medal color, the way Yuzu lifted us all when he picked up that flower. Because Yuzu didn't win Worlds in Stockholm, he won the world. Each episode in the There's a Global Pandemic series focuses on a key Yuzu event that has happened since the onset of the pandemic. Future episodes will talk about the Skate Forward video where Yuzu saved our sanity by skating for us while wearing shoes indoors. The ISU awards where it looked like the ISU was going to give an award to anyone but Yuzu. Yuzu's decision to keep his jacket on to save the world by withdrawing from the 2020-2021 Grand Prix Series. The 2020 Japan Nationals, when Yuzu made his triumphant return, and even the infamous Scream on Ice. If you don't want to miss any future bonus episodes, make sure you subscribe to Yuzuru Hanyu is My Emergency Contact, the Fan You Fan Me podcast. Or you can always find Fan You Fan Me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Redbubble, YouTube, or the official website with the blog that started it all at fanyoufanme.com. Yuzu may not have picked up a flower in Beijing, but he did pick up our hearts. And being Dwen Dwen. Come back for the next bonus episode of There's a Global Pandemic, the series where our hearts are with Yuzu. But even they know to still stay six feet away. The Fan You Fan Me podcast is a Back to the Forest production. Back to the forest? (laughs) (laughs) Um, You know, just kidding.